everyone, Amos here, and today I've got a tutorial on a Kinex catapult. Let's get straight to it. Woo! Alright, let's start off this tutorial by doing the hardest part first, which happens to be this area right here. <clears throat> so I've laid out all the pieces for you, and you just slip in all these pieces in this order into this yellow rod. Finish it off with one of these pieces right here. Snap that on. You're gonna you're gonna take two blue rods, put one right here, and then put another one directly opposite to it. Then you wanna take this this build and slip it onto the top just like this. Snap it on, and push it all the way to the end. And there you have it, that's the most difficult part of the build. Let's do the next hardest step, which is making the socket for the ball, like right here. So first you'll want to make three of these, and then connect them to this blue ball shape thingy right here, like this. And then you're going to want to take this piece and snap it onto the red square. Okay, and then finally you'll want to snap the red square into this claw shaped thing. Great, and that's all done. And now let's connect it to this thing that you just made. First, I made it a mistake that I want you guys to change. You want to make sure that these blue rods are opposite to this white um, thing. So let me change that right now. And then we'll get to connecting the two pieces together. So now it's all good. So we can continue with the next step. So slide this um, snowflake into the gray rod. Um, attach the gray rod to this and then for the other two gray rods just snap them onto the side. Now we come to the last part of this build which is the structure that holds up the catapult itself. Now even though it is the largest part of this build I do believe it is the easiest because it's the most straightforward. So first you're gonna want to make this structure and as I explained, it's very straightforward. You just need six of these and eleven yellow rods. And then you'll want to make this structure. And I'll just let you look at that. There's eight red rods, eight yellow rods, and six of these 3D pieces. Finally, you'll just want to connect them like this. on both sides. You want to connect them on both sides. And there, the structure is done. Now, to the very last step, which is connecting these two pieces together. Yay! You've got all two pieces and now you've got to connect them. And I lied that this was the last step. We still need to attach the elastics after this. So to attach this to the base, it's very simple, just snap it on like this. And there you have it. Let's move on to the elastics. Before I begin the elastics, I should tell you that your elastics should stretch about 8 inches without too much difficulty. So you want two elastics, one just leave as it is. A second one you want to put it through the middle of a snowflake piece and then do this with it. Like that, and then just tug the other end so it's all tight. Let me show you how to connect the elastic onto your final project. I'll start with the one that isn't attached to the white snowflake. So, 
You want to slip it on these blue rods and then take one end and put it here like this and now let's do the one that has the snowflake slip one end of the elastic through the yellow rod here snap it tight take the middle gray rod snap it here snap it onto the top of the snowflake and then for the other two rods, snap them on the side. There you have it. Your Connect catapult is completely finished. Good job. If you shoot a Connect ball like this one, it can shoot five feet away. If you just take a regular ping pong ball, it can shoot three feet away. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to see more cool Connects creations that you can make yourself, please check out the other Connects videos on my channel, as well as some vlogs that I do from time to time. Anyway, like if you liked this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye!